I really love this garden at the moment. It's, um, it's my favourite place at Perch Hill. And that's as much for the roses, it's the rose trial garden, as for the foxgloves. I, I just adore that balance between those two families. And in here, we've got Digitalis Sutton's apricot, which is that beautiful, very soft pink, which is fabulous as a cut flower, cut with peonies, and it's fabulous as a garden plant. And we've got the white one, Digitalis purpurea alba, which is a sort of classic. And actually there's an odd wild one in there too, which I'm not sure it looks so good. I love those soft colors. But there's a new one I love too, which is just down here, which is a, a compact one, but it's really branched. It's called Panther and it's got lovely splotches in its throat. But I love the way it's sort of nestled in with this, this deep, rather matching kind of pink and then crimson rose and the bronze fennel. And I think the reason I love foxgloves is perhaps threefold. One is they do make wonderful May, June cut flowers. But I remember doing the bees and butterflies program with the BBC and one of the pollinator scientist saying to me if you look at a foxglove think of it like a high rise you know sort of uh, layer upon layer upon layer of cafes for the pollinators and if you watch them they start at the bottom of the spire the bees and they work their way up getting nectar and pollen from each one of the trumpets and there's no air miles to go with that and that's what's so lovely um, and so it's this wonderful idea of the spike as, as a great sort of tower of pollinator food sources. I love that idea. And the other thing I, I really love about foxgloves and actually these plants, the toad flaxes, the linearias, is something that Vita Sattva West wrote about so well, I think, which is if you've got the domes of roses, just like to get the right proportion and beauty with a mosk, you need the minarets at the corners and not necessarily at each corner around each rose do you want four foxgloves but it's having that vertical spire breaking up through the dominus of the rose that is just such a successful design combination and that's what we're trying to do here and in our rose garden And I love using foxgloves in that way.